hi everyone welcome back here in this new video tutorial today we are going to learn how to create a dynamic chart or diagram in microsoft excel first of all let's understand the data here in this data sheet i have a sales data of abc company private limited that contains the date column item name column city name column and quantity sold the item and city name are repeating multiple times here in the data based on this data we are going to visualize the item wise total quantity sold based on the city that we select from here this chart is dynamic because when i select the different city name from this drop down the chart will automatically change here you see similarly if i take uh, another city the chart gets automatically updated and currently in the Kathmandu city there is zero sales of fan if i go to the data sheet and update the sales of fan in Kathmandu now if you look into the diagram this is automatically updated here the nine unit for fan is added to the chart based on this city we select here the item wide sale will also automatically calculate by using this formula so here we will learn how to do this in microsoft excel so let me close this excel workbook and open a new one where there is only the data as you see here i have two sheets one is the data sheet and the other is dynamic chart here i will create a dynamic chart let's start with the process of doing this first of all you need to convert your data into the table format for this select your all data then press ctrl plus t in the keyboard that will open this create table dialog box here click on ok now the data is converted into the table format which opens the table design tab here if you want to change the name of this table then here in the table name you can give a different name here i am giving the name is sales data now go to the dynamic chart sheet then here we need to create a city selection drop down so here type city select then in this cell we need to use the data validation to create a drop down of the city here i am going to give a different color highlight then select the cell click on data tab click on data validation tool here then in this drop down choose list then click on the source field then go to the data sheet then select the city name range from the first city till the last city by pressing ctrl shift down key together this will go till the last city but here we need to take more row so press the down key one more time along with the Control and shift this will go till the last of the sheet then click ok now here you will have the unique list of the cities but if you are using older excel version then you will not get the unique list of the city here you will get the duplicate name of the city so if you have the older excel version you have to follow a different method that is first of all you need to select the city name range from here then copy the city name range then paste it over here by right clicking then click on paste special choose values then click ok now click on the data tab click on this remove duplicate tool then click ok now you get a unique list of the city you have to link this city list here in the data validation and this list of the city is a static list if you add here a new city in the data then this will not update here for that you need to create a dynamic unique list of the city to create a dynamic unique list of the item in old excel versions the process is little long we have to combine different formulas to learn how to do this please refer to the video link that is provided in the video description below but if you have the latest excel version that is excel 365 then the data validation tool itself creates a unique list of the cities here after you create the city selection drop down here then now here we need to calculate the 
item wise total quantity sold so here give the column header is item name in the next cell type quantity sold now to display the item name here use the unique function press equal to type unique bracket open in the array go to the data sheet then select the item name range from here then close the bracket press enter now you get the unique list of the item here and this is a dynamic list but this unique function is available in the latest excel version only in the older excel version then you have to follow a different method that you can find in the video description now here in the quantity sold we have to calculate the total of the quantity based on multiple condition the first condition is the item name and the second condition is the city name in this case we have a function in excel that is the sum ifs function so here the formula will be press equal to then type the sum ifs function open the bracket now in the sum range we have to select the quantity sold range of the table that we created here the name of the table was sales data so here you can type sales that will suggest you the sales data table here double click on this then open a square bracket now you can choose the column header from here we need quantity sold so double click on this close the square bracket now give a comma in the criteria range one we have to select the first criteria range of the source data that is the city name range in our sales data table so here type sales data then double click on this table name open a square bracket then select the city name column by double clicking close the square bracket then give a comma in the criteria one we have to click on the city name that will be given here so click on this cell now we need to lock this cell because when we copy this formula down this cell should remain at the fixed position to lock this you can press the f4 key in the keyboard that will apply the dollar symbols now give a comma in this criteria range 2 of the sum ifs function we have to select the item name range of the source table so here give the table name that is sales data then open the square bracket choose the item name column by double clicking close the square bracket give a comma now here in the criteria 2 of the sum ifs function click on the item name that is given here due to the formula this cell is not clickable so directly give the cell reference that is d7 cell reference here type d7 now close the bracket the formula is complete press enter now the quantity sold is given as zero here because i haven't selected any city here if i select the city name then i will get the quantity sold of fan in the city pokhara now click here in the fill handle then drag this formula down then you will get the quantity sold for all the items for the city given here and this calculation is now dynamic if i change this to a different city then the value changes automatically now here select this data then apply the border by going to home tab click on these all borders now here in the data header use a different color which i am changing from the fill color option and here let's make the title of this data dynamic by using this formula press equal to then type double quotation type sales data of then double quotation again type the and symbol then click on this city name then again type the and symbol then type double quotation give a space then type city double quotation close then press enter now you see sales data of nepal guns city is given select these two sales then click on this merge and center option here we need a space between off and nepal guns so here to include a space here after the off use a space then press enter now this title of the report is dynamic if you change this city name from here 
the title also change after you do this now it's time to create a bar diagram to represent this data so select this data here then click on insert tab then click on this insert column or bar chart option then choose a bar chart style here i am selecting this one which will create a simple bar diagram here now let's make some changes here in the chart by clicking on the chart you can increase the size by going here in these controls drag it to increase the size of the chart and here i am deleting these lines from the chart so click on the line then press the delete key in the keyboard i am also going to delete these numbers from here so click on it and delete and here in this title of the chart click on this then go to the formula bar press equal to then click on this cell where there is title of this data press enter now this will be dynamic if you change a different city from here here you see the title is also changed and also the diagram is changed and here if you show the quantity sold click on this data bars then right click then click on add data label and here you see the quantity sold is added if you want to format the quantity sold value you can click on this right click then here you have different formatting option here i am going to change the shape for displaying the data label here i am choosing this one which will use this shape here in the data label if you want to give some color here in the chart then you can click on the chart then go to the format tab and here go to this shape fill option choose the gradient fill click on more gradients and here click on gradient fill and here in the preset gradients you can choose different style here i am choosing this now the chart looks good if you want to change the font size of this you can click on it then increase the font size also if you want to change the font size of the name of the items you can click on this then go here in the increase font option now the dynamic chart is created here if you change the city name from this drop down the chart gets automatically updated here you see and currently there is zero sales of fan in the Kathmandu city if you go to the data sheet then add the new sales record here now if you go to the chart here you see the sales of fan is dynamically updated here so this is the way of creating a dynamic chart in microsoft excel thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet in next video tutorial